Today, we're going to learn how to make a pan pipe out of glass bottles. Let's talk about that. Uh, hello, and welcome to my school projects channel. If you're taking a, a physics course right now and you're studying sound, you are in the right spot. Uh, today, we are going to be making a pan pipe out of different size vibrating air columns. Uh, to do today's project, you're going to need eight bottles, preferably not different size, a uh, source of water nearby, as well as some pretty hefty breath support. Uh, but first, let's learn some science. All right, so today I've chosen to use some Coca-Cola Life bottles to, uh, as our bottle to use. And they're going to be called closed tubes because one end is open for uh, air to pass through while the other end is cut off from any air. And in a cylinder, this means that the wavelength or the distance from crest to tr crest or trough to trough is going to be one-fourth the uh, length of the air column. Um, now, when we blow into a bottle, we are creating a vibrating air column. So, that is the air vibrating around it. That's what creates the sound. And the rate at which the air vibrates is going to be called the frequency. Uh, the frequency is measured in hertz, and uh, we would describe it as the highness or lowness of the pitch heard. Uh, today, we're going to be putting water in these bottles to shorten the wavelength which increases the frequency, and a higher frequency means a higher pitch. Uh, so vice versa, if we took all the water out of the bottle, like it is currently right now, we would have the fundamental frequency. Um, and if we double this frequency, which is what we're going to do today, we're going to create an entire octave. All right, so to know how much water to put into our bottles, we're going to need to know a little bit about Helmholtz resonance. Uh, since the bottles we are using are not cylinder, we cannot use a simple equation, V equals lambda f, or velocity equals wavelength times the frequency. Um, to determine the frequency, we must apply the Helmholtz resonance, which is frequency equals velocity over 2 pi times the square root of the area of the of the opening of the bottle over the volume times the length of the neck plus 0.6 times the hydraulic diameter. Now that sounds kind of complicated, but uh, we can break it down pretty easily. Uh, most of these are going to become constants. Only frequency and volume are not going to be constants. They're going to be our variables because they are the things that we are going to change. Uh, so let's solve for all of these constants first. First off, we'll solve for V. Uh, the velocity of a sound wave depends only on the medium, and the speed of sound in air depends on the temperature of the air. So if we took a look at our handy-dandy thermometer, we would see that it appears to be right around 20 degrees Celsius, and I know that at this temperature, the speed of sound is 343 meters per second. To find A, we would measure the diameter of the opening in the bottle, divide it by 2, and use the area of the circle equation, A equals pi r squared. Uh, so, I found that the diameter of the bottle is 0.02, so divide that by 2, you get 0.01. Uh, squared is going to be 0 0.001 times pi. Um, to find L, I measured the length of the neck, which came out to be 0 0.05 meters, and added it to 0.6 times the diameter, 0 0.02. And L turned out to be 0 0.052 meters. Now, when we plug all that back into our equation, we get that the frequency equals 343 over 2 pi times the square root of 0 0.001 pi over v times 0 0.052. All right, so uh, using that information, I found I can actually find that the fundamental frequency of the bottle, uh, which is I would plug in for the volume of the air inside of the bottle. Uh, so to find the volume of that, I put the I filled the entire bottle with water and then put it into a measuring cup, 
and discovered that it contained actually 250 milliliters of air, or 0 0.00025 meters cubed, um, and found that the fundamental frequency was right around 245, which is just one hertz away from B3. Um, and with that information, it's just kind of cool to know uh, that, and when I play it like this, uh, and I look it on my tuner, it actually did say B3. So we know our equation is at least kind of correct, right? Uh, and I wanted to put my bottles in to make a scale of C major, uh, which meant that I would have to fill all of them up at least a little bit uh, because C is higher than B. And um, to do this, uh, I needed to find the volume that needed to go into, the amount of water that needed to go into the bottles. Uh, so I found all the frequencies of the C major scale, which included C3, D3, E3, F3, G3, and A3, B3, and C4. And I put the volume that the, or I put the frequencies that they said into the equation and plugged it in to find the volume. Uh, so check it out. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 